Hi Collective, welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal and I'm a Cosmic Divine Psychic Medium. So I'm excited. We have our full moon today in Leo. This is our first full moon of the year. So this is a very, very powerful full moon as I'm a Leo rising ascendant. I also have other Leo placements, I blew my Mars and other things. So very heavily, um, I'm a Leo, right? So I'm really tapping into these energies and excited to see what gifts are going to be coming out um, because there's been a I've been getting this strong feeling of things are being revealed right now full moons are about closing things out but a lot of times you need to get that closure to be able to close things out right and that's what I feel like is happening because of the intense downloads and everything that I've been receiving that a lot of closure and things have been coming out and I've been revealing some of those things right but the full moon is always whenever we have a full moon right it, it really reveals what's hidden everything that's hidden comes to light it shines a light on things that are hidden it's meant to force emotions and feelings and things like that to come to the surface that's why a lot of times you get those you know intense emotions where you're like i can't hide this anymore i need to express my emotions and feelings i've got to tell this person this i've got to come clean i got to do this i got to do that because it's meant to right and especially <laughs> You know, um, that Leo energy that we're feeling, you know, gives you the strength and the courage to be able to do that. That's why I feel that this is going to be like a big reveal. I feel for a lot of you, you're going to be getting, you know, people revealing things to you. Not to mention you're going to be getting like downloads, right? Because that, you know, <laughs> a lot of that's your intuition and things like that. And for a lot of you, when you're ruled by the emotions um, or by the moon, you know, and you can release those emotions and feelings and it allows you to unblock some of these things where you can get the downloads and connect right um it's a very very heightened time for intuition right and that's also why a lot of witches and warlocks love to do spell work and magic using powers of the moon and things like that so you know i feel that there's been a lot of casting of illusions there's been a lot of black magic and spell work but you know what this is the year of infinity where all that's been casted is going back to sender there's no more letting us battle out this is when god divine source steps in because this has to do with the reset right and it's very very important so it, it's time to balance things out this is the year of infinity it's kind of like as much as we may have been wanting to battle these things, divine source, the universe is stepping in, like clearing the field now. Nope, out of time. Like time is up. So karma has to be paid. Things have to be fair. So for some of you, like things are out of your hands. So full moons bring closure, completion. There could be tower moments, things like that happening, moving you out of the way. A lot of you could be getting realigned and have physical movements and breakups and endings and things like that happening very abruptly because it could literally be divine source moving you out the way because there's karma coming down. If there's things that have been hidden, if there's been lies and deception and betrayals, it's all being exposed and now it's got karma coming down, right? Yeah, so... Like, I mean, like this year of an eight, Leo, it represents the lion, which is the eight in the tarot. So an eight year in numerology, you add all the numbers together to a single digit for numerology. So if you didn't know why I say it's the year of an eight, 2024 is an eight year, which is infinity, right? So <clears throat> everything is coming around. Look at this. I felt to use the duality deck too, which is interesting. Look at this pentacle, right? For some of you, you have had deceptive people that have been after your abundance, that have been trying to steal new opportunities from you, that have been trying to steal inheritances. For a lot of you, if there's been inheritances that have been stolen, if there's been things like that within your families, it's coming out. It's time for justice, judgment. A lot of people are going to jail. They're going to physical jail. They're going to spiritual jail. It's like that the feelings, the emotions that people are going to be feeling, that guilt and all of that, it's going to manifest into uh, like illnesses, things like that. Some people could literally be getting unalive due to the the amount of, of just evil and wicked castings that they've done. Some of them have been doing death spells and things like that. That's coming back around. And bet you believe it doesn't often come back to the person that casts it comes back to their families, their friends, their loved ones, just to show them that you casted this. So 
So, wow, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that's coming out. So, I've been getting for some of you. I'm going off of the downloads that I received, right? Remember, these are collective, right? Maybe it's like me. Am I pulling <clears throat> the energies that are around me? I pull in the messages and downloads that I received from spirit. And, you know, you're guided to this channel, but you could be guided for me to teach you about certain things, especially when I get into the tarot. It might not be all your story. So, it's more going to be <clears throat> confirmation for you if this is your message instead of like new information. It's like, you're going to know, whoa, she's talking about, you know, because it could be something that's going on in my life that I'm sharing, but it could connect with somebody else. Because for a lot of us chosen ones, we had our own families turned against us and we had inheritances because it was set up that way. Little did you know that that inheritance that was set aside for us chosen ones, that was set aside for us by God, because that was supposed to aid us in our, in our divine life path, purpose, and mission. So you stole from God. This is for the haters that may be watching it. They stole directly from God when they cheated us out of our inheritance. So you don't think that that's coming back around? Yeah. So for some of you, like your enemies and things like that, you could be asking like, well, why did they let that happen? Why? It's all part of a purpose. It's all part of a plan. For some, God wanted them to be able to witness it. God wanted them still here to be able to see what's about to come down. I don't like to get into the karma. Like I say, you shouldn't get into it as well. It's in love and light because they were probably being controlled, manipulated by the, by the enemy. But for some of you, they're going to be coming in repenting at this time because when you do tell the truth, the punishment is less severe, right? But it's also going to be a peace of mind for them because there is no rest for the wicked right now. These enemies are not going to be able to sleep. The divine source, God, universe is running and replaying the situation over and over and over and over again. They're hearing your name. They're seeing your name. Some of them, if they're messing with your mental clarity and things like that, they could be losing their mind. They could be having public freakouts, things like that. They, it, it, mm. So some of them, you know. Hmm. So, so you'd be surprised. Some people are going to be coming in. And they're going to be revealing things that they did to you. And know that you, it's it's coming to your attention not to piss you off. Well, for one, to give you the clarity and the peace of mind. But you need to know that they're also coming in because God, divine source, wanted them to come in and wanted them to tell you the truth. And if they feel, if they're, they're getting pushed to do that right now, and if they choose to go against God to not reveal the truth to you, Their karma is even more, right? But I'm like I said, I'm not going to get into that. We were never supposed to be the ones to impose upon karma, right? But uh, you, you know that. That's why you know you just send love and light and healing because you don't want to put that projection to have it come back on you, right? So that's the biggest thing that I'm getting. Justice, 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 right? So especially for like all my chosen ones, things like that, that have advanced psychic skills and things like that. You've been aware of these people deceiving you right to you and you've let them do it because you knew that it was just leveling you up. You knew that there was going to be a time that God divine stars stepped in and called justice and guess what? He is. Right? Right at the beginning of the year, it was literally the second day in. I was hearing stand down, stand down. I was seeing a chessboard and the hand knocking the pieces off like angrily right and I was hearing stand down stand down and I was more taking as like you need to get down get out of the way listen to what you're told walk away stop trying to basically save the souls that you are stop trying to get the justice like I said for whoever this is you're going to know this is for you because there's some of you, you knew who your hidden enemies were, but you were still trying to light work them, trying to get them, because that's what we're doing here. A lot of us came into these dark family storylines, life paths, to come in alignment with a lot of people, because we were always shining our light on them to lead them back to the light, to get them to, you know, find the light. A lot of it was for them to do wrong on us, for us to still have forgiveness for them, to open up that compassion for them to see, wow, I did all of that stuff to them, and they still forgave me. It's kind of like the Grinch, right? I'm getting just got the vision of the Grinch. You know how he kept stealing and doing all of that stuff, but then the, the town was still, you know, sending him love and light and, and still invited him to celebrate with Christmas, even though they didn't have all the presents and the gifts and the things like that. And you know what I mean? So it's kind of like that, you know, it activated his heart chakra. It, it grew. It was very beautiful, right? So... Yeah, some of them basically defied God, defied their blessing, you know, because chosen ones, you are sent here 
you know, by God, you know, doing God's work. So anybody that's been messing with the chosen, blocking, sorry, I'm shaking my camera. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm so excited because I've finally been set free from all the karmic people that have been in my life, right? God's been coming in, taking care of them. And I know that justice is getting ready to come, come down. So be humble when you see the karma come down. Karma is not meant for you to be like, yes, they're finally getting their best chosen ones. We don't feel it that way. It's just more, it's one of those you have to see the justice to know that justice is being taken care of, right? Because it allows you to forgive. It allows you to let go knowing that, okay, you know, what you put me through, you're now going through. If somebody wished for you to be homeless and lose everything, you're not going to see them lose everything. And more, right? Because it's always amplified. But you're going to be seeing those things. Family and things like that are going to be coming in for forgiveness. You're going to be finding out about illnesses, about all sorts of things, right? But it's for you to know that they're serving their karma, right? So just be humble with what, you know, comes to your attention, right? Wow, I didn't know this room was going to come out like this. But this is going to be the big reveal. So for a lot of you, you know, know that it's being revealed to you too for you to move on. Right, 11.11 has to say that, right? And um, so new alignments, new contracts are here. For some of you, these people, you know, needed to be moved out the way. This is a time of justice, harmony. This is this is the year of karma, right? So if you're on the good side of karma, you've got wonderful blessings and abundance and new things coming in. It's going to be a very, very beautiful year, right? So anyway, let's get into the cards now, right? That's why I, I had to change my channel over to Crystal Psychic Man because I channel so much stuff that Spirit wants me to give as I'm a divine channel for the higher realms that I give a lot of messages through and sometimes those can take over my rooms before I even get into the cards, right? So I felt like changing it. I'm like, I better take the tarot off because I was like, so many people probably come for a tarot reading and sometimes I don't even pull the tarot cards, right? <laughs> Anyways, look at this, the devil. See, so you guys are straight up dealing with the enemy, and that allows you to forgive people too. Because when you know that they were working in devil energy, and there's been a lot of wicked um, demonic attachments and things like that, that have been... I have to look at this card. It looks like it's plugged in here. Another tie. It almost looked like a plug. For some of you, it's like um, some of your enemies and things like that were constantly getting um, like demonic things through what they were doing. Um, like on electronic devices and things like that. Like if people were like doing deceptive things like online dating, um, you know, um, what was I getting a lot of my cards? Serial dater, things like that. Like somebody had like false accounts and things like that was like cheating virtually doing things, you know, um, engaging in the sex bots, all of that stuff, like really dark stuff, playing around in the dark web I'm getting. Um, like if somebody was being deception, like porn, things like that, you know that that's all of the devil. It's all low vibrational energy. You're not supposed to be doing that stuff, right? Um, so like I say, you know, some of you, if you are engaging in that stuff, you're not supposed to be doing that. You're invoking dark energy, right? Um, but I'm more getting that secrets are going to be coming out about people that might have been doing deceptive things, right, online. Um, something to do with plugging up, hooking, hooking up with people online maybe. Maybe somebody was, um, I'm getting like soliciting, things like that. Just really some really dark stuff was happening online that's going to be getting revealed for somebody. Some um, hidden sex addiction coming out right the devil's being devil's being exposed right for some like these dark entities the jezebel spirit the ahab um work together right to really get somebody to like i was looking at how they work together because it, it, they have as far as like get somebody to be like in a cowardly um position it looked like where, the, where they're not able to defend themselves they fall weak to the devil and manipulation i don't know how they all work together though but the jezebel the ahab and the levithian um, dark entities have been running rapid through anybody that's had some sort of wounding. And sometimes people can invoke this devil energy just because they are so hurt and their hurt has turned to anger and turned to wickedness that they, they embody these demonic entities and spirits. And especially if anybody was struggling with addictions, drinking alcohol, things like that. So they could have been completely taken over by demonic possession, not even realizing it. So, right? so that's why I say like, you know, just send love and light to them, even when the people come in exposing these things. Like, at least they're showing some remorse. It's showing that they do 
want to do right by God, to have remorse instead of just blindly never apologizing, not saying sorry and walking away. That That's two totally different things. When people acknowledge their sins, you can at least be heard by God instead of just completely shut out by God, right? I mean, so a lot of people have lost their divine protection and things like that from what they have done. Some of them have crossed the line and have went too far, especially the ones that have done the unalive spells and things like that. And that's why they've been completely just so dark and caught up in this in this devil energy. Really got really, really wicked and things like that. But they, they still have a chance to come in and, and um, take action for their sins by revealing to you what they have done. Okay? So for some of you, it could be very, very heavy, right? But show me the Ten of Wands reversed, right? It looks like he's crashing his fun. For some of them, like, they can't carry this burden anymore, right? So it's like, it's destroying their life, right? For some, like, they're not sleeping, they're going crazy. For some, they're being blackmailed. For some, <laughs> it's interesting how things will come out. It's like, uh, for some, it's like, people have been blackmailing, like, I know what you did, I'm going to reveal it to you unless you do this for me. To, like, there's a lot of dark stuff that's running rampant, right? Because there's no divine protection for some of them. So now they could ha be having fa family, friends, all sorts of stuff. The people turning really, really wicked, trying to use these things against them, right? So it's like this person can't carry these burdens anymore that I'm channeling, right? Like they, they have to come in, right? And I've got the Six of Wands reversed now. Like, yeah, it's not a victory, but they, they have to come in. To tell the truth, right? They're not going to be celebrating, but at least they're going to be free. That's confirmation. At least they're going to be free from this, um, this heaviness of hiding. You know how that's what like the guilt makes people feel, right? It'll keep replaying over and over and over. Oh, sorry, let me see what all this is. Um, it's confirmation. So it'll just keep replaying over and over and over again, right? Okay. So that way they um they have to come they have they 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 just they, <laughs> they gotta reveal it right I mean it's your choice whether or not you want to hear the person out but they're being guided too and it might just give you the clarity right for some of you you know they're hoping that you'll forgive them there can be a new beginning there can be a reconciliation or whatever forgiveness or whatever. I mean, it's up to you, how, how, you know, if this person, you know, depending on how, you know, if somebody was struggling with addictions and things like that, you know, and addictions led them to do it and they're getting the help and things like that and can release the devil energy and never, you know what I mean? I'm not saying people can't change, things like that. You know, I don't think that you should fully be like, you know, like for some of you, you just got to forgive. You got to forgive for you, if not for them. But they, but you do have blessings coming in. But like I said, you know, you know that you already got some divine blessings that are coming in for having to go through these things. These are already here for you, right? For some of you, you have more heightened abilities and gifts and things like that. For some of you, for the ones that don't want to come in with the clarity, divine's revealing it to you. Divine's showing it to you so that way you know. Like I even heard is like, are you ready? <laughs> I was like, I'm ready. So I sat down. <sighs> I even sat down, you know. And it was nice to get revealed. It was like I knew, but I got the download, right? It literally happened right after the moon was full too. It was like 12, 12.30 p.m. or whatever this afternoon. So some of you that, you know, have these heightened abilities and gifts, things like that. Seven of Wands, sell boundaries, guard, and you know, when is this coming up? This is coming up in the action position. So, you, for some of you, you could be very, very defensive, right? Some of you may not want to hear what they have to say. Some of you may not want to know. Some of you, it's like, it's better if I just don't know. And then, you know, you feel that you can heal, walk away by not knowing. And that's okay, too. You don't have to know what was done. 
But for some of you, it's like you need to know because they don't want you to always wonder. You know? Like, that's kind of how I was. I was like, I got the vision, but I don't know. But then I really want to know. But then at the same time, it was like it was probably an entity takeover. It's not that you weren't good enough. You need to know that. People go and do deceptive things, right? Because they had a wound they didn't love themselves. And if they can't love themselves, they can't love you. So they didn't even love themselves. So when they don't, when people don't love themselves, they'll go do anything. Especially being ran by an entity, right? That these lustful spirits, right? That cause people to go off, you know, run off sex and, 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 and that, cause that's what they're meant to do. Kill and destroy. They want to kill and destroy relationships. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Swords. See, so being very, having your boundaries up too high can keep you, you know, bound and stuck in a situation of not knowing. Get, that's what I mean. Because this is about freeing your mind. So you can evolve so you can focus on you. Like, that's finally what I realized is, like, when I was finally set free, like, when I finally ended things and I was like, I, I'm moving on for me. Like, all this lies, betrayal, hiding, out. like, I ain't doing this no more. I deserve so much better. Like, I'm an empress, I'm a goddess, I'm a, I'm just, I'm a chosen one. I don't care how much, like, you're being controlled by demonic spirits and your evil family. Like, no. I know my worth. And you know what? You're done. You ain't, you ain't disrespecting me no more. You don't deserve me. You've lost me. Right? So, that's what I finally learned. And that's what my, I'm realizing my contract with my twin was for. He was supposed to show me to have self-love for myself because I didn't have that self-love for myself and I was supposed to activate love in his heart for him to receive love, for him to be able to open up and receive love and then for me to have self-love, right? Because he didn't... So I was the only one that could get close enough to him for, he, for him to love me for, you know... And still, it scared him. It scared him so much that he ran back to addictions and woundings and things like that. And he ran from it. But ultimately, like, he's... Ultimately, it does, you know, get him to realize that he lost me due to these addictions. Due to not loving himself. That he needs to love himself and let go of his addictions and his toxicity. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, by us not being together, by him losing me, it's going to save him. And, and empowered me to walk away and to know my worth, right? See the different versions of the Eight of Swords, so tied up, chained, and stuck, and then, then boom, they're gone. They ain't that chair no more. That's what I mean. So finally, it was like all of these things are weighing me down of like not knowing, worried. Like I couldn't trust him. Every time he would leave, I'm just like, I knew that. Ugh. Just like all the games and his phone and not trusting him and being around all these, just all these underage girls at work, so all just all these like it's just every day I was just like every job he would get he would get involved with people and be coming home with gifts and all sorts like it was just driving me crazy right like I just and being a psychic like I could just see it all or whatever like he thought he was so slick and and so good with what he was doing twenty three twenty three. It was like insulting my intelligence. <laughs> like the lies that were told in my I'm like really Ugh. like you know how hard like how much how much strong it got me because there'd be times in that Leo energy, you know, people lie right to my face. I would just wanna hit them, you know, but I'm not violent. And those Leo you know, that want to attack, I guess you should say better, you know, when I'm attack with my words or whatever, because I don't I don't hurt people. But that rage, but it, it taught me a lot of temperancing it and learning how to breathe and use that anger to turn into a passion instead, right? Especially when I get revealed to me the things that he would do. <laughs> but I was just like, divine, got me, right? Okay, you see how I flipped that off? You see how I, I smiled and walked away? Yeah, record that. Because every single thing that they did against you, every single thing was watched and recorded and is coming back. So I know that he's getting all this karma for every single lie, every single thing that he's done. Okay, <laughs> see what I mean? So... Yeah, that's where I was dealing with him, right? That's how I felt. Because I was like, I can't, I can't be creative. I can't, 
you know, it was, it was just blocking me, right? And, and oh, now I'm here. Damn. <laughs> Letting him go. I'm free. I don't have to deal with that anymore. Nope. Don't have to deal with no more lies, deception, betrayal, all these insecurities. And then it was making me feel like, well, am I not good enough? Like, why does he have to do this? Like, what is wrong with me? You know, he doesn't give me compliments, but he can, I can watch him flirt right in front of me and talk all sweet to people and, and hon and all of this stuff, but never says this thing like, oh my gosh, no, I'm so free of it. Right? Like I love myself. I got me. <laughs> Right? And I know that um, it's going to be such a beautiful, beautiful year. Right? So know that. So, yeah. So don't be so guarded, right? Maybe some of this is going to set you free. Because sometimes that hurt, right? When you find out the truth, it can flip that hurt real quick. <laughs> right? So then it can change. Like, boom. Done. All right. I'm moving on. No more feeling sorry for your ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? So don't be so guarded. Queen of Pentacles is coming out with the Nine of Wands. Like I said, he was blocking me from my business and my growth. who was showing me them reversed, right? So I'm getting blockages are being eliminated now, right? But it's like he knew what he was doing half the time, right? It was like his way of feeling he had power over me and to get away with things. Like he even disclosed it to me one time, you know? I'm like, why do you go do this stuff? He's like... Because when I'm told not to do something, it makes me want to go do something. It brings me back from when I was a kid and I would go, you know, steal a cookie from the cookie jar. Like, ha, 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 I got away with it. Like, really? The, <sighs> that, was the, that was the little immature Knight of Wands I was dealing with, right? Okay. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah. And for some reason, some people just like to play those and sneak around. I don't know. I'm a cancer. I'm really, really loyal and things like that. And just like, I don't even talk to anybody, but like, and if I do, if somebody would even reach out to me, like I would tell him, right? Like, I'm just so honest or whatever. You know, I, if I, if I even like feel that I'm uninterested or want to move on, like I'll talk, like I did tell him too, like, you know, like I'm fantasizing right now about somebody romancing me and I'm fantasizing about being with somebody that's on my level and very spiritual. Like I started to tell him that towards the end and I guess that probably triggered the Scorpio and I'm going to go do some other stuff because that's what he went and did, but whatever. <sighs> At least I'm honest, right? So anyways, okay. Yeah, star card is here. <laughs> yeah, see, I, for some of you, they were literally blocking your wish fulfillment, keeping you in illusion in a gaze, because in a daze, because for some of you, it was here. But I'm flipping it upright, because your wish fulfillment is here, right? It so is here. <laughs> so wish fulfillment is definitely coming in, right? So for some of you, this was just a karmic lesson, cycle, loop, whatever this was. Maybe it was to level you up. Because little do you know that these, these karmics, like when you're free of these karmic situations, you level up. You advance to the next level, right? And for some of you, like you weren't able to advance to the next level to let them go because they weren't worthy to go with you. You had to let them go. They were just part of your karmic path cycle loop, especially like if you got into these relationships or situations when you were still wounded, they were meant to level you up. So ultimately you have to let them go to level up. So for some of you... If you didn't walk away from something, but you've learned your lesson, but you stayed in something, like, that's kind of what I did. I was like, well, I was fully aware that it was a contract and what it was doing. And, like, I had advanced so much on my spiritual path with him, right? And it reached such high levels. I knew that divine put in my place. And, like, even I was telling my kids, I was like, divine will tell me when it's finally done. Like, I've left him probably three or four times, <laughs> right? But then he's you know, repents and sorry. And then I know he's struggling with addiction and our challenging lifestyle, losing our home and everything, having my evil mother go against us and his too. And just always getting in the way and all the drama. I just kept saying, well, it's, you know, because of what's going on. So I kept giving him a chance, but I was like, you know what? It keeps sending him back though. I was like, when it's, when it's truly done, when I've learned everything that I've needed to do, then divine is going to you know, intervention. And that's exactly what happened, right? And that's when I knew. And when I heard loud as clear, stand down, <laughs> I was like, okay, all right, got you. Plus they showed me what was going to happen if I did not. And being a psychic, I was like, okay, done. 
done. <laughs> so know that because some of you, you're getting removed because they're getting their karma and you don't want to go down that path, right? So yeah, five of wands, there's a lot of fighting and battling and conflict that's going on. And see, what's interesting is this is nine of pentacles, but there's two figures on that card. Nine of pentacles is that, that single independent energy. It's like for some of you, you needed to get in the single independent energy and boom, but you're not going to be single for long because it was meant for you to be in a partnership. It was meant for you to carry out this mission with somebody, especially if you're chosen, right? Stuff's coming in. It's very beautiful. All right, guys. Sing love and light to all of you. I'm going to close out this reading. Definitely subscribe to the channel. 3030s is say that. Because um, you'll want to get notifications on when I do my uploads, right? Because I always let you know what I'm connecting with cosmically, like especially the full moon today. So, yes. Subscribe to the channel. Feel free to comment below if you want to donate to me, even just energetically by liking the video. I'd really appreciate that. Um, you don't have to, but if you are able to donate, I do have a link available for my cash app, which I really appreciate it um, because it just helps with the, with the energy flow and all of that. Everything you know you give out comes back to you. Multiplied. Know that. All right. Love and light to all of you. Bye.